Okay. Right. After all this messing about. So we're going to start with this one in the in that we're just going to do the background. I'm also just going to do a quick draw. And so I'm going to get my pencil so that I know where it's going. Pencil. You come from either side. I mean, because I'm right handed, I think I tend to come from the right side always. And it's just just a an idea of where they're going. That's all. So that's that's all I've done. Just an idea. And then I'll get some water. This is going to be I'd have to put water over this side. Crumbs. I'm not going to do the whole page. I'm just doing around around the the branch. And then I'm going to get some a nice bit of red. I don't want it too too dark and I'm going to just splodge. In, in dots really and then with a smaller brush I'm just going to splatter that same colour oops and that's all we're going to do for that one so I'm going to move Whilst you don't want to be too picky on this one, I'm just thinking in the middle. So that's 11, so that's five and a half. That's my middle line. That's my middle line. And I'm just going to do a middle line down there. Right, could you? Mute everybody, please. What did I do that? Oh, that's about. I did the other one all by eye, but I think probably it's a good idea. And then, sorry, Susan, you're off the page. Okay, here we go. Sorry. So I'm going to. That one's three that side and three that side. And then just sort of, you can do this by eye really. Oh, try and be um, not symmetric. So a uh, blue one there. And a blue one there. Whilst they're still wet, get a darker blue and just put, just touch it into the one side that you're going to have as the darker side. It's all about light, isn't it, always? Then I'm going to have a bit of the red. Thank you. 
You could always, if you wished, decide to have one of those long oval ones instead of round. You know, the, the teardrop ones. So it's like that. I've drawn a circle with a, a little thing on top, using the technical term, obviously. And then I'm looking for a, a medium sized brush, which I'm going to paint with plain water on the inside. I think you'll probably need two or three coats of this to get the depth of colour, but we'll see. So that's just plain water. Now I'm going for green. So I'm dropping the paint in as close to that pencil line as possible, otherwise you, it looks a bit strange. It's obviously it doesn't come out as a proper circle and the eye doesn't like that. In the middle I'm just pushing paint around, just taking it from the outsides. I'm not put, adding any in the middle so that it gets a sort of a motley a motley look and i'm just taking it very daintily which is unusual for me taking it up to the edge there so we get a proper proper edge to it And I'm going to leave that to dry. Okay, so we're back to the berries. I've got the same red that I had for when we did the background. We need quite a bit of it because there's quite a few berries. And I would start at the top. Otherwise, like this one, you put your hand in it as you're going up. So start at the top. So circles, white spot.
I've stopped fiddling and now I'm going to attempt to star, which is not my forte at all. I know this. I'm going to go gold, gold glitter. Plenty of paint on the brush. Decide where it starts. God. Well, that's it. Well, we got there. And I just do a little bit of a, a few lines around it, say, oh, look at that arm shining. And you could, if you wished, and got your glitter paint, you could just put a few dobs of glitter on each, on a few baubles, not each one of them. Just to liven it up. And the same with the pot, just down one side with the lights hitting it, or the alleged lights hitting it. And I'm just marking out those tops of those leaves at the junction with the gold. It's fiddle forever. Forever and ever. So I'm quite happy with how dark the bauble is. Um, I have done them both in glitter pen and in glitter paint and I prefer the glitter pen. So I'm going to use glitter pen, but you choose whatever. You've got to make your, your twigs, vines, whatever they are, curved so that it gives it a curved look on the bauble. If you do them straight, you've got a flat bauble, which is not nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so can we, I'm going to start off with one coming out the top. And he's going to come round here. Can you see that? No. So it's very difficult to see. There. There. Can you see? I've just come round there. I'm going to go over it again. Make it a bit thicker. Not too thick though. And there. So that it's actually looking as if it's coming round a curve. I think we need to mute. And then I'm going to. Sorry about the, that. <laughs> going to do some leaves coming off. And it, it's job to show you. There it is. There. So um, I did little little stalks with a leaf on. And my leaves are alternate sides. You have to decide that in the beginning, otherwise you forget what you're doing. And I got a leaf at the top. So that's one, she says. There you are. Oops. Ah, got it. Make sure it joins the top. Now I'm going to have another one coming in at the side there. 
to the left side. Ooh, there you are. There he is. That one there. And I'm going to just put a leaf on him and a little leaf at the top, off the top line there. And I'm going to draw a leaf attached to absolutely nothing. And at the top here, I'm going to come around in a bit of a circle and a bit of a curve, not quite as much as before, and just draw twigs with leaves on. So it's very simplistic. Uh, come from the right side, circle round, leaf, twig, leaf, twig, leaf. And I've just joined my, my twigs at the same place, which I said not to do. There it is. <laughs> All is revealed. Draw a leaf there and a spare leaf there. And come in from the bottom coming up. Try to remember to keep that curve all the while and keep it in the same plane. And then I want one coming down there. You can make it a bit bigger, you can have it as sparse as you like. Or as full as you like. Because it's Christmas, I'm pushing the boat out. I'm filling up any large spaces with just leaves that have fell off. And I think that's probably it. Uh, I'm going to, using the same glitter pen, do the top. The little thing that holds the, it all up in glitter. Still silver. Right, so... Oh, look, there it is. So that's what we're aiming for. So I've kept that curve all the way round so that it does actually look as if it's a, a bauble and not flat. So I'll hold that there so you can see the line. It's that leaf there needs fattening. It's amazing what you see when you see it on the screen. I don't like thin weedy leaves. I go through and fat a few up. That's it. So then all we're going to do is put a string and write the words Merry Christmas. You could, of course, do another one behind, um, you know, up here. 
and have two hanging or one at uh, So with a black pen, I'm going to put a bow on the in the middle. A bow and a string going up. Try and get it straight. It doesn't have to go anywhere, it just goes up. Excuse me. Then you can write the immortal words. Maybe Christmas, if you can find the pen to do it with. So start about there and follow the curve round. Luckily, you don't, it would be hard to judge where Christmas came if you were doing that going up to the, round the curve upwards. But luckily, it's down, so... And that's it. That is all of it. <laughs>